Alright guys, we are back on the Minecraft server with Church Mag, and let me just show you the fruits of our labor last time. You know, it's been a couple of days. Holy smoke, there's so much here now. <laughs> so we built a lot of stuff up. Um, I've been doing my live streams, my let's plays on my own personal channel. And this is what we came up with. This is where we are at. So this is what we dug out, which was needed because we needed to build this huge mammoth custom tree. Which, by the way... The leaves on the bottom are done, but when we're gonna we're gonna go to the top and it's not fully finished. Um, this is actually a piston elevator, which we'll use here in a second. Um, but I wanted to show you. I only did kind of the trail here as well as the steps up. All this extra foliage. This is uh, Benjamin Tops. He is the man when it comes to these kind of designs. We'll go up top and I'll show you some of the other stuff that we've been doing up there. But we need to grab some redstone real quick show you how this works sometimes you glitch so don't be surprised if it happens beautiful so you literally just place a redstone down you gotta walk right on top of it and it takes you all the way to the top up here then we have a piston elevator we have a little bit of a prank going on I love it um, we already have our first shop up here um, if you do go to the piston or the minecart elevator up there, that's where that is. We've got a little bit of a house over there you can check out on my um, live streams or personal channel. And then over here, you got these walkways going across. We got a little bit of a fountain. And then we actually have some custom trees made out here. Um, I What you do is you have a tree that comes up, you place some dirt, you take some... Um, the four leaves out you place four more dirt and then you grow another tree on top of it and the reason for that is, is you just get these super high trees already high in the trees i really love this kind of a design but as you notice here it's kind of bare i wonder if maybe we need to build it out more if we want to leave it just like this i'm not sure i'm not sure how we want to do that but we do have this design for all the roadway or the pathways here and it'll go this way. It, we've stopped here. And the reason just because it takes a lot of time to build this out. So if we look down, that's what's down there. That's what's over there. The jungle just kind of goes on forever, which is awesome. I absolutely love that. But we do need to build another house over here because this is where we are going to stay. So that's Benjamin, uh, Mr. Red Tops' house over there. This is going to be ours over here. And this is birch wood here. This is dark oak here, dark oak um, fencing. But I'm thinking we've got the groundwork laid already. Let's go ahead and in, you see how the jungle wood just kind of clashes. And it doesn't really work well with this, um, but this does work well. I'm not sure exactly what I want to have for the walls. I'm debating what I want to do. So here's what this would look like if we did it this way. Now, there's only going to be one access point for... I'm going to make take this one down. Is it down here? Where is it at? Where's the hitbox? I'm so confused. There we go. Nice. Um, so I'm not, I only want one door into this place, so the only way you can get in will be th through this house. But this is going to connect to something up there, um, over here, and over here, which I think that'll be a two level over there as well. So this initial build is going to just be the main house of it. I really kind of like the idea of leaving it open. Um, but again, the only way that you actually can get to this is through this right here. But we're we're doing Robinson Crusoe is the theme of all this. I am taking it one step further in... Ooh, is my mapping all the way there? No, there it is. Oh, because this needs built up one. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's all right. Um, but I want to take this one step further in the sense that we, I'm going to kind of do like a Tarzan theme is what I was thinking. Now it might seem a little weird, 
but the idea was you build a little bit of a Tarzan opening and what Tarzan would do would be to jump out, right? To jump out to go to other places. And so I think that's what I'm thinking is just the look. We're obviously not going to be able to jump out and swing from vine to vine because you can't do that in Minecraft. But if we did something like this, is this too small? And I'm not looking for anything huge. I might actually just make this bigger back here. Let's do this. You know what, we're gonna have to drop some water down below. Because I think I want to go ahead. I don't want to expose the birch. Here's what I'm sorry. I want to make sure that I'm saying everything out loud. Oops. No, I needed that water. Oh, crap. <sighs> that leads into our conversation of what's appropriate as far as language. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. So here's what I'm thinking. I want to make sure I get this design working before we have our conversation about the allergy stuff. So we do that, and then we would do this, and this would go up, but then this one, and again, we're gonna have to take out the birch itself, so that bottom layer will not be there, but then we would only do that. So it's going to kind of look like an open window here, which technically you could fall out, but we will put some fences. Maybe we'll put some fences, or maybe we'll just leave it as a risk, or maybe we'll do some glass. I'm not exactly sure. That doesn't look terrible. I do like the fact that it's jungle wood. The only downside is this is also jungle wood, so I'm definitely going to want to cover this whole thing in vines so that the people can't see it. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's do this. So... Conversation about frustration and communication and how to deal with things. I think a lot of times when we are adults, when we are children, just life in general, I think sometimes it's really difficult for us to communicate well. And so we get frustrated and irritated and we recognize that that's a really tough conversation to have. And so we were never sure about what that looks like. How do we communicate well? And with God, this is fairly easy, right? He knows who we are. He knows what we're thinking. Um, it's the Santa Claus effect. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. Um, with the added constituent of he knows if you've been bad or good. He also knows why you've been bad. He knows what you're currently thinking in that moment. It's not coal, it's a matter of our salvation that we're thinking about these things, which is a big deal. Um, I don't want to take the, this conversation lightly by any means. Um, for people that don't understand what salvation is, I would encourage you to go talk to someone if you're not sure what that is. Um, because it's the entire purpose of Christianity. It's the entire purpose of why it is that we want to be next to God. Now, Salvation then turns into discipleship and worship and all these other things that come later. Um, but it's the whole point of the process. And with this salvation, we're able to have... <gasps> we're able to have community with God. We're able to talk with Him and to understand what He wants from us. Um, because what we would say within the Christian faith is, is when you accept Jesus into your life, when you have that expression of faith, um, it means that you are a Christian. You are living as Christ would have you live. And the Holy Spirit, <gasps> how did I not die? I'm not going to question it. Let's just move on. Um, that Holy, the Holy Spirit's living inside of you. And because of that, you have access to, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. You have access to God's will. Oh my goodness, there's three creepers here. 
That is a lot of creepers. Oh my goodness. Well, let's grab this stuff real quick. Oh, that freaked me out. Um, nope, and a, and a bad guy, and a bad guy, and a bad guy, and a bad guy. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my goodness. Um, being able to communicate, knowing that God is present in your heart, in your life, is a really big deal because he's the one that we're supposed to go to when we're worried about things in our lives. He's the one that we're supposed to go to when we have concerns. And so we need to take that seriously. Oh, breathe easy. Um, so that communication sometimes gets halted. Sometimes that communi communication gets halted. Now here's an issue. That redstone's still up there. So I'll show you the back way up there. We got a couple of vines. This is in case the tree, the piston elevator does not work, or you may do what I just did and fail. Actually, let's go fill our bucket real quick first. Um, communication can fail. Like, it, so as an adult, you probably know this. For the adults that are watching this, you know that communication fails because we get too busy, we get too scared, we don't talk about the things that we need to be talking about. Um, we put our focus on things that are actually not important in our lives. And so we, we're just misfocusing on everything that's going on. And we need to come back and think about what that is. Within Christianity, I would say this absolutely happens because our focus is on we need to be busy. We need to be, even we could say, um, doing things God would want us to do, but ultimately we're not... Where is that coming from? Oh, he's right there. Um, we're not doing what is actually God's will in this process. All right, so this is the main vine. Okay, okay, just get upstairs. <gasps> get up, get up, get up. What in the world? He's able to hit me that high? All right, give me a second. I got to get back upstairs. I can't keep talking and then stopping. Give me one sec. All right, we are back up. Um, and I think, that the, I think that what we just experienced was a perfect illustration of problems with communication. You get sidetracked, you get distracted. Me doing both talking and trying to build is, first of all, funny. I'm gonna try this green, gra green glass out. Um, but also it's kind of the illustration of it's not easy to be able to have a conversation. And by the way, you're having a conversation with God and you're probably in a place where you feel like you really need to focus on talking to him and really kind of pay attention. And so we get this distraction going on for not necessarily bad reasons. And I think that that's something that we always have to keep in mind. We have to keep processing through. All right, so I like the glass because you can see over top of it. The question is, is how high, oops, that is not what I needed. How high do I want to go with this? I will need to go get more jungle wood. Oh, geez. I did it again, guys, I did it again. All right, let's go ahead and go back up. I'm thinking maybe we go three blocks high. Oops. Hmm. Go up. Go up. Go up. There we go. Then we cut this down. And then we build on top of it. Beautiful. Guys, we did a thing. Barely. All right, so I think we go ahead and just leave it this, but I'm thinking go three high for this. Stupid leaves. And then we start to build across. So it would actually be like this. And we would go across, yeah. 
Let's just look out this one window and see if it looks good. Is that too big? Actually, I kind of like the birch to stay there. You tell me what you guys think. Do you like that birch idea there? I need to eat to realize that I'm a moron for not. Tell me what you think about that. Or I could, I could also do, let's try this. Get these out of here. And I could also just do this, because that'll block you, but oh no, I don't like that. Because then you can't see what's on the other side of it. Yeah, let's definitely stick with the glass. Yes. Because you can see through it. Now, I could do white glass. The problem is, is if you come out here and you look at the glass, and I'll show you at least what I was originally thinking was I don't want it to stand out. I want it to still blend in, which is why we're doing the, um, the jungle. Actually, that birch underneath kind of works. What does it look like over here? No, he... He builds some stuff. I might have to just decorate it. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, let's stick with this. Let me finish the walls with you. And then we'll call it. And then I'll actually do some decorating and designing on my Let's Play channel. Um, you can see the final result later with that. Oh, I need more jungle wood. So... I would encourage you, what's holding you back? What is getting in the way of you having honest conversation with God? What's in the way of you just simply talking with him? Um, and each person is going to be a little bit different in the why. But ultimately, I would say that everybody has this concern. This, everybody has these issues. And so we have to definitely take stock of it, take time to figure that out, and recognize that um, this is very important. You would never... I mean, if you're sitting with your parents right now, you would never say, I don't ever need to talk to my parents again, because that's important. I mean, they might be your transportation to activities. They may be the ones that buy you stuff. They may be the ones that feed you and take care of you. And that's absolutely important. And we, so we would never say something like that. And yet that's sometimes how we live our life. So we have to be careful with that. I think we're going to need to bring this all the way over to... I like that idea. We got torches in here. Oh, beautiful. Yes, let's do this. Finish up this beautiful beginning. I almost dropped again. If I dropped again, I would just be so upset at myself. <laughs> All right. Here we go those back we got exactly five I didn't even plan that guys that's awesome and then I'm thinking that high yeah we'll do this beautiful we will do this and the good thing is is now because I have that glass in there I can just walk backwards and not feel scared. Which I'll be honest, I did. I was scared that before. I didn't want to fall off as many times as I already have. All right, I'm gonna finish this little bit up and then I wanna show you guys what it looks like. We'll view it together. And then I'm gonna call it quits for today with this episode. Is that it? Awesome sauce. Okay, let's go look at what that looks like from the front. We may have to do a little bit more design for the foliage up front. Obviously, we need some vines that go down to make it look much nicer, but let's see. Oh, guys, that's awesome. I love how open that is. I love, I know it looks a little plain. We'll dress it up. We'll fix some of that stuff, but I love that. That's a starting point. Cool. I think we're going to end with this. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, any critiques? What do you think about that idea of communication? What is it for you that is important with regards to communication in general, but then also with prayer? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, especially in the, in the fact that each person's a little bit different. So me offering some ideas, is that too low? Nope. 
um, may be helpful, but you guys are kind of the experts in this process. I'm, I want you guys to kind of share some stuff. What does it mean to communicate well with God and with others in your life? Um, leave your guys comments down below and I will catch you guys next time. See ya.